Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. I returned to the fuel station. For one, I need to rename that thing. And I want to stay close to the ice and to the... Mm, to the uranium to eventually be able to load that up and have some... Uh... <laughs> And I can't write and things <laughs> to load that up and yeah, hopefully replenish the uranium I'm using. That's what uranium is here for. So the ship, you can see that I brought in the hydrogen freighter and filled up the ship again. Uh, that was relatively quick. The for some reason. The Empress just has six hydrogen containers or tanks. It can't be. That's, that's six alone. I don't know what's happening because the, the, this was completely able to fill that up. And again, we have at least 12 in here. So why didn't it show all of them? Let us take a look at that. Maybe it is not completely filled up and it still has a tank. See, there's the hydrogen tanks. Ugh, they are hidden. I should not hide tanks like that. That's maybe not a good idea. Okay, now we can stockpile empty the the whole thing out the problem is we will run into <sighs> we will run into trouble if we do that so i will unhide these show block in terminal and then i will bring the so the, the, the big problem is I don't want to run out of hydrogen in the tanks because then the ship can't fly back. That is not a thing I want happen. Uh, want happening. Business ship. Okay, I don't need anything from you. So that I can fly this thing back, refill it again. And then bring it in again, refill the ship finally. I'm... I had, the last time I still had a bit of uh, hydrogen in there and it should be enough to make the flight back. Let us see how bad it is right now. It is connected up, that might... No... Okay, that's better. We were at, I don't know, 40 uh, percent before and now uh, we have that going for us. Good. I will fly the tanker back in the meantime. First thing to do now is to unpack this thing. This is just a test bed for the, the script I wanted to test. So there is there is a server out there that uses uh, that is basically a, a server that just plays into the whole uh, expanse thing theme and they also use the the Eric Slings Epstein drives and they do the complete thing with flip and burns and that is something I really like the idea of having a ship that uh, that flips over uh, and then uh, activates its drive to then stop the ship because in, in, in the expanse the ships are basically constantly accelerating up until a point in the midst of the 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 way the travel <laughs> kind of then they flip around and then they 
decelerate the ship. So for one, that, that is a really quick way to travel if you can do that with the amount of fuel you have in, in your ships. And they also generate uh, artificial gravity that way. And um, the whole thing is just interesting. I have the, the drives and I want to test how that thing works. The script needs, I, there is a way to turn that off, but I, I don't need to. The ship needs to have an Epstein drive. It, it needs to, it, the, the whole thing says, you know, you, you have to have it. Uh, here, by the way, expense flight controls by Java, just letting you know. And um, it, it has all these things that, that you can set up where you basically point it towards, or not point it, you, you say, fly me to this GPS coordinate, and then the whole ship will fly there and do everything automatically. That's, by the way, a really, really cool thing. I wanted to see if it is able to flip and burn uh, yeah with without the Ugh, yeah the the dampeners are on and I have some I want to know if the whole thing is able to flip and burn with out the I don't know what, what it is doing. So it is able to do that, but I don't know how. What what did I set up here? So this is uh, off stop tune. Good. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. Let let us go back to the beginning basically. So Set the set this ship up with a bit of hydrogen because the the Epstein drives use hydrogen, and I wanted to, I or I needed to use that. You bring the whole script into a programmable block, and then you set up your control seat or your cockpit with just this EFC. Um, they let me let me go into the and now I I want to see is this whole Sigma Draconis expense server that's the the server um, I don't know why it is set up here but I'm I'm good with that they they it seems they, that they have a rule set there that this a whole script kind of adhe adheres to I I don't know then you set up your uh, your flight controls basically so you want to you want to speed into a direction uh, and you want to stop your ship you can do that by using the run command and then just use the stop command that's a neat thing though you can also tell it to just flip basically the ship um, so that you you point your drive to into the direction you are traveling in. Um, you can also turn the whole thing off uh, now that I remember how I have set up my controls. Um, the whole off thing is basically that you uh, that you can turn off the script and it doesn't uh, react to the or it reacts to the settings. I'm Again, this is not this is not a tutorial. I just wanted to talk about this because I wanted to test it. Um, I'm the the idea of having the possibility to have this these realistic flight situations is is kind of a thing I like. That that's. That's one of the one of the realistic things. How how ships, if if we had uh, thrusters like the Epstein drives, how space travel could work intersystem with with the realism of not having warp drives and all that stuff. This this method, this whole 
speeding in one direction, flipping around, uh, around, then decelerating, that that would cut down on travel times within our system in by ages. It's it's crazy how cool this is, and the fact that I can now utilize that for ships and if i want i can go back to the old system uh it's kind of it's kind of neat that gives me some some real possibilities is the okay we 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 bring in a coordinate because i want to show the whole uh doing the doing the flying into a direction um, we have the Mars arrival we will copy that coordinate and I will put in put it into the programmable block there, there is there seems to be the possibility I, I played around with this today so it's not like I know anything really but you can put that in oh here uh, I already have so we can run this and then it knows the coordinates and then we can just tell it to fly there so there's the coordinates it speeds up uh, there is uh, there is speed limits you can put in and I think I have to I have to do that because it seems the the drive is just going ham Okay. Now now I want to see if it if it flips and then just uh, brings the whole thing to a hold. That would be absolutely nice. It it seems that it is able to also push the the ships up from the surface or uh, when you come in for a landing and that's definitely something I want to test later at one point, but um that would be absolutely neat. So are you flipping now? This flipping, I think... I think I have to set up the maximum speed because max speed is set to 300 and we have a max speed of 200. Maybe... It wants us to to be realistic with that. Uh, okay, we are we are close to the whole thing. We can now just go back to our start point, and then we can just cruise there, and hopefully with the settings, we can then just stop the whole thing when we need it. This is. <laughs> These are toys I really like to play with because it's just... Uh, it, it does all the things automatically for me. And that's just... I like that. Trust, turn the lock on. I, I can turn that off. That is, that is just... That was a, a security for me to have forwards and backwards thrust. Although you shouldn't need it. Uh, but... I want to be able to bring this thing home, even if it limps back. Uh, if if something goes completely wrong. Back controls. So we had two kilometers in. Normally, again, you would you would stop the whole thing and flip it um, around. Halfway, basically. There, there is, by there, there is. It seems to, by the way, be able to uh, take a look at the distance and then say, okay, this is uh, the distance we 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 go, and um, let us run it again. J I just want to see if it kind of stops the whole thrusting like crazy thing. Uh, because again it really doesn't need to do that run that so here it tells you that's the distance 11 next ETA is how fast we arrive there basically it seems 
So, speeds up, turns off, nice. Now it has max, max speed. It doesn't need to thrust anymore. Uh, it locks, by the way, it locks the gyros. So the whole thing is, is locked down. Uh, should we... We could set up the whole thing again and do a uh, flip. Because that will flip the whole thing without burning. So the question is, is the program still reacting to that? Oh, okay, it, it is not. So I, I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. So we will uh, stop. It stopped. I will have to set up the GPS all the time. So we see it it works, but oh oh it is engaged. So it it basically engages the whole thing, but doesn't fly towards the towards the point so when when the whole auto pilot thing engages again it locks the gyros so you don't you can't turn the whole thing anymore it's it's a neat thing it's a neat thing and i might build something around that because again i like i like the idea of the expanse ships and having something like that would would be really nice it would be the I don't know the the oomftiest time that I that I go into the expanse universe and do something, uh, try to do something like that. Maybe I can, maybe I can succeed with this for once. Nice. So, but now we will turn off the whole thing and use that thing as a normal ship. You turn on here. By the way, the, the freighter, for example, could could use something, something like that. And uh, ugh, ugh, yeah, it's it's underpowered. Let's say it that way. The the Epstein drive is a lot crazier than than the other stuff. Um, I have the the hydrazine rcs thrusters i may be able to use them and maybe then the whole ship reacts a lot better <laughs> i don't know good um yeah oh no Ugh, i lost sound there i'm sorry for for the whole rebelling and things again it's this is this is the toys in Space Engineers that I really, really like. It also has infos on screens and all that stuff, so I'm it's that's that's a neat script for me. I will I will keep that and we will maybe build something around that. Uh okay, now I will do some more work around the station, around the ship. And maybe don't know, give give the whole thing if I want a bit of a nicer look. Bring the tanker back to Europa, and uh, don't know all that jazz. Uh, we need that's the next thing we will set up is we need a transport to um, bring in stuff from the mining stations towards wherever we need them. So I might put in another one of these basically ships that can go wherever you want them because they have, I don't know, uh, cheaty power sources or something like that. Uh, the, the tanker is one of these and um, maybe I do the same with a freighter for the, the system so that I can bring it in, transport materials to whatever ship we have close by and then be able to leave it there uh, connected to our laser relays. We'll see. 
Good, let me put some more work in. After completely going crazy about the new toy that is in my arsenal, about the flip and burn script and all that stuff, I have built a freighter or a cargo ship that I can use to uh, bring in cargo from all over the world then. So I built with the new iron thrusters because I kind of found out that I really never used them and I wanted to I wanted to try them and I have to say they they look really really nice I'm I'm happy with that uh, they give me there were years ago there there were test mods done by <laughs> done by Keen themselves and I they remind me kind of of them um, with multiple thruster plumes and all that stuff but the main thing is I wanted to have something not the same but similar to the tanker and so I decided for this basically to design why is everything so dark yeah, it is, by the way, the next day. <clears throat> That's why uh, stuff is different and I kind of have to remember what I wanted to do. So, uh, we have this this tube design with... Uh, I used the warfare or the in industrial cargo containers because I also didn't really use them and... They fit into my sparse industrial works I usually do. Stuff that is not flashy because I really don't need it flashy. Although I try to... I don't know. I try to give it form. Um, it is not as thin and sleek as the... as the hydrogen tanker. And the hydrogen tanker kind of works out a teensy tiny bit better because it uses hydrogen as thrust. That that can make the whole structure a bit more compact, I have the feeling, because I could use the Epstein drive in the back and then um, modded flame front thrusters to all the other sides. Here I went for a vanilla-ish build. The only thing that's in there that is definitely not vanilla is... Oh, yeah, two, two things. Two things. Um, I have a reactor in there, one of the modded ones, and I have quantum black solar panels on here to keep this thing completely powered wherever it is. Um... It needs them because it has a laser antenna connection. So we should be able to reach it from everywhere, bring it in, bring it to wherever we need it. Keep it going there and then be able to bring in, uh, bring in materials from wherever. And are then hopefully able to bring it back to wherever we need it. That's kind of the goal of this ship, at least in space. On planets, I definitely have to do it very differently. Um, I might want to have a solution for orbital transport. I could do something with this, and but I kind of want to have a solution that is independent from this ship. I'm the. I still have the cargo containers that I still can bring up and down, and maybe I should find a way to not automate this, but make it make it a process I can do when I'm on the planet. So with uh, a drone that I can steer. I've left uh, a space for gyros here because I want to see how it behaves once it is full, if it still rotates well. Uh, it has also a normal antenna 
Uh, I want to rename a lot of parts on the ship and I can definitely steer it with uh, cameras. The cool thing again is I can or I should be able to just contact it from wherever I want to contact it and that's that's a neat thing so that is the main view this is the front so main view just uh, uh, a bit more of a view over the hull so that I can see where I am going and then just the front view with uh, the connector right below it by the way I really like that we now have uh, a vanilla crosshair on the on the camera screen good this thing I, again like everything I built it is maybe not really done yet and needs some more work but again I want to have it functional so that I can use it uh, now that I uh, am basically done here in the area for now so I can then hop to other places and maybe use this to bring in necessary materials. The station, I emptied it out test-wise with the freighter and brought in the ice. I don't know how much ice I got back already, but the uranium is slowly, slowly going up. Um, I don't know. It's weird since yesterday. It's just... As long as I played 100 units or something like that, it, it it all takes a while. How much ice? That is around, yeah, the 47,000 since I emptied it out. And then I started to play around with this concept a bit more. And I... I did the usual thing. Say, oh, maybe this is a bit small. And went in and then grabbed the the biggest and the most uh, expense like or the <laughs> yeah this is basically the Tashi or Rossinante Epstein drive um we have a problem with that and uh, space engineer says nah 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 you will not you will not uh, do this so let's see if it if it does it again it, it didn't you, oh, ah, you nasty piece of work. So be before I recorded, this wasn't possible. It froze whenever I placed a block on here. Nah, it does it again. See, it's com it's completely frozen. I'm moving the mouse, doing everything, and it should come back. Hopefully, hopefully. Now, now it is back. So. Building with this, um, not a thing that will happen because here I'm, here I'm good. Here I'm good. It must be the size of the thing or the the amount of I don't know the amount of triangles or whatsoever it doesn't want me to really fluid f eh? built on there let's let's go with that so let's scrap this and we will concentrate on something smaller i kind of want to have um an attack ship I had the problem, it, I know, I, I have one over there already, but I kind of want to have one in, in that style. So I had a bit of a run-in with a pirate raider that positioned itself somewhere there and spawned drones. Um, it was not really a problem. I, I hope that I didn't suffer... Oh, okay. Now it froze because it is taking apart the whole thing. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Uh, yeah, maybe now with the thruster gone, it works out. Um, I kind of want to see 
if I if anything got damaged here because again I had some oh yeah I had a run in with a drone and that definitely damaged something so I will bring something over to repair this I want to still have a build ship I need that too Ugh. maybe I do something something like that before and then uh, go hmm <clears throat> That's maybe the, the next thing. Uh, something I can use to build things and jump around should be next on the list or something. But maybe I will build it somewhere else. Take the Empress to a different place and then uh, build something there. I will dock the cargo ship up to the fuel station here. And then... Come on. And then have this thing. Oh, come on. Did it work? No, it didn't. Ugh. Space engineers. Always just. Uh, the thrust is still an issue. I need to design my ships with more uh, side thrust. I'm. The problem is, sometimes it just, it feels that it is doing more side thrust than it should. I'm, I'm rather unprepared for, come on, we will dock this up so that it doesn't just sit in space for now, ooh, I need to turn off you dirty little thing. Um, I will transfer 300 over into the cargo container because you just took all the uranium that was in there. So, um, I will take the Empress to somewhere else. I will pack this up for now is there something left here yes and yeah maybe in the next episode we visit somewhere else and then uh, see what we need around there I'm not sure if I want to go to Dune Earth maybe we go to Earth we didn't visit the the asteroid base in a long time and maybe I can clean up there a bit more. And we, we still don't really have a base on Earth. Maybe. Maybe we should go there next and, and not go. Maybe I shouldn't go to the places I like the most. I wanted to go to. <laughs> I wanted to go to. Object 85 and make that into a crazy uranium mine if I can, but uh, maybe I should go somewhere else first and see what what is. Oh, I also need to go to Pertum. Ugh. We pay a short visit to the asteroid base, take a look if everything's all right there, maybe arm up the asteroid base with some weapons, and then we go. To the places I like. Ugh. I don't care. <laughs> it's just good. But I think that's all for today. I need to uh, hook this up. Uh, maybe I can do that with uh, landing gear and some blocks. Um, unable to apply. Why? Ugh. I, by the way, I uh, changed out the jump effect. Uh, I, I think for the next episode we will do the jump together to to see how the the jump effect looks. It's uh, it, it's not perfect. Uh, I used the the one from Elite Dangerous because I I like the jump effects there, and Space Engine is is not really good at replicating that but I'm um, it's not bad it's not terribly bad ok 
Okay, you are active. Uh, let us just lock it here. Turn off the dampener, so now that should work good. I should lock this to the asteroid. Uh, by the way, the just as I mentioned, hyperdrive, so that thing should be able to jump everywhere where I wanted it. And uh, I need <laughs> one thing I still need is kind of a port for this thing on the ship docking down here is kind of unnerving I could use this one maybe I should use this one next time we will see good people I think that's all for today you saw the new toy that I have and uh, you saw the freighter or cargo transport I by the way named uh, I could talk so much more. I named all the stations uh, brought up the antennas and all that stuff we 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 are good here Good people. Thanks for watching. I say, hope you liked this episode. If you did, then please leave a like on the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. See you guys. <laughs>